Okay. Sorry, I couldn't find my black and then I leaned across the table looking for it and I got paint on my shirt. Okay, so if you get paint on your shirt, immediately go wash it out. If you let it dry, it will never come out. Um, that's why it's important to wear an apron or something when you're doing this. You never know. Okay, so shades are colors mixed with black. Now, you cannot use the tints from earlier that you made because that has white in them. So it can only have the color and then black, all right? So I've already got an orange and this like maroon color, so I'm gonna use those two first. Again, you wanna add the dark to the light. Just getting a little bit of black. You don't want a lot of black because the color black is very powerful. It'll change that color you made so fast. Kinda looks like a dark brown, doesn't it? A little bit of water. Let's make up that much. try yellow so just a little bit of yellow I'm gonna add my black ooh that's way too much look just I, that's probably way too much you guys are gonna see I'm gonna wipe some of that off just a little bit changes that yellow so fast ooh that's an ugly color that's baby poop green right there Probably could have added a little bit more black to that. Again, don't use the paint you've got left over that's got white in it. It's a shade. And this is my last one, so I think I'm gonna use my, I got some blue left on my palette. I'll put some blue here. Just a teeny, again, just a teeny, tiny bit. I can always come back and add some more later, right? Stay away from your white over there. Stay away, buddy. Nice, like, navy blue color. And I've still got some red left, so I'm gonna throw some red in there because that's basically purple with some black in it, right? Red and blue make purple. I'll just go ahead and get the rest of that blue in there. Go. So I think if for today, if you guys get these done, obviously most of these we did in class. Um, and you guys that are face to face, I know you weren't expecting to go home either. So when we, when we do, well, there's a few more color schemes I wanna do on Monday. Um, you can just kind of do them at the same time. Like some of you guys were doing your color, finishing your color wheels yesterday. So as long as you've got these eight, this is what I was planning on finishing today anyway, is you guys got all these eight color schemes and your color wheel should be turned in already. You should be done with that, okay? So just to recap, we've got, we started with 
primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. They make all the other colors, right? That's all I used today were those three. So I made orange, green, and purple. And then I made all of the tertiary colors that are in between the primary and secondary on the color wheel. Uh, our complementary colors, opposite on the color wheel. So blue and orange, yellow and purple, green and red. And again, they're pairs, okay? So they're only complementary when they're in a pair. Then we did tints, so colors mixed with white. Uh, then we did neutrals, which is all three colors mixed together, so you'll get a lot of different browns. And you can use a little bit of white in them if you want. Uh, analogous, next to each other on the color wheel. And again, you didn't have to do the ones I did. You can do, you know, the other side of the wheel if you want. And then shades are colors mixed with black. And I just kind of used, I did that one last and used all my leftover paint that I had behind. All right, so you should have eight of them. All right, y'all have a great day. Be safe. I'll see you on Monday.